I'm doing this quick video because I just decided, you know, to give you access to some of the content, some of the videos from the accelerated coaching program that many students have to go through for 12 weeks. Not for them to make some progress in their IT career, but for them to be able to make things happen, you know, for them to be able to get results. And that can be for them to get certified, that can be for them to get, you know, their first job or a higher position in the IT field. And I was thinking right now, and I'm like, you know, the students have to go through over 450 videos, exercises, and many other things, obviously through me, for the next 12 weeks for them to be able to get results. So I was thinking, and I'm like, you know, let me post some of the videos from the coaching program so you can get an idea, you know, and the type of the content, information, and the way that I walk the students through and learning technical information and non-technical. Because yes, this coaching program can change your life, not just your IT career. So, watch the video, enjoy, and by the way, make sure to follow us on social media, like the video, you know, share this video and comment underneath this video. So, here's the video, enjoy, and I will talk to you soon. We finally got to the OSPF topic. And as you know, this is a huge topic for you to know, not only for you to pass your CCNA exam, but also for you to be well prepared. Because let me tell you one thing, once you go through the job interview process, I know that someone is gonna ask you something related to OSPF. That can be one question, that can be a few questions. And I know that someone is gonna ask you something about it because this is the biggest dynamic routing protocol in use out there in the marketplace. And also, that will be a great opportunity for you to position yourself as an expert uh, by the way that you answer those questions. So make sure that you go through this section by being focused and for you to do exactly what I'm gonna ask you to do throughout the videos. And by the way, okay, for you to be a high paid and badass network engineer, you need to know OSPF really well. And that's why I'm gonna ask you again to make sure you do exactly what I'm gonna ask you to do throughout the videos and make sure you go through all of the videos, not once, but twice, okay? And the way that I'm gonna go through by teaching this topic, it's gonna be different because I wanna make sure that you get this, okay? So I'm gonna go through the videos by having a conversation with you, okay? So we're gonna have a conversation throughout the videos. That way, it's gonna allow me, okay, to engage more with you and also for me to go back and forth on some of the topics because I really wanna go over some of the topics again and again because it's all about repetition. It's all about repetition, okay? So make sure you follow and make sure you take note because it's a lot of info that I have to go through on OSPF. Okay, it's a lot of things that I have to go through. And I wanna make sure that you get everything because this is not for you to be like, oh, yeah, I, I, I have some knowledge on OSPF. Oh, you know, I, I think that, uh, that I can configure, you know, OSPF. No, this is for you to have the fucking big picture and for you to know, you know, uh, and exactly how it works in the background, you know, for you to know the details. So when it gets the time for you to configure, you know, for you to implement, for you to troubleshoot OSPF, you will be able to succeed, okay? So let's get right into it, okay? Because, oh, and by the way, another thing, okay? That's more than 25 videos, maybe more than 30 videos on this topic. Because I wanna make sure that I give you more than enough, okay? And also for you to start the process and be like, okay, now I get it. So. Yeah, I feel good now for me to go after my CCMP, okay? So, let's jump right into it, okay? 
Now, the way that I'm gonna walk you through, again, we're gonna have a conversation, okay? So this is not like a PowerPoint presentation, okay? Because I was thinking, I'm like, what will be the best way for me to teach you this topic? Through a conversation, so let's make that happen, okay? So OSPF, well, first, things first, right? OSPF, it's open, short, pad, first, okay? Open, short, pad, thirst. Now, that's many things that are coming through my mind right now about OSPF. Some basic things, some advanced things, right? And I can probably like, okay, what about this and what about that? No, let me process this, okay? And for me to start with the basics and eventually go to advanced topics. And by the way, that's a lot of bullet points I'm gonna have to go through. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this, like having that conversation that I'm having with you right now, okay? Uh, and also we're gonna go back to our packet tracers. We, we will be like back and forth, so it's gonna be fun, okay? So, and I know probably you, you have some knowledge about OSPF, maybe some experience, who knows? But what will be the first thing that will come to your mind? Something basic. OSPF, well, it's a routing protocol, right? Well, OSPF is a dynamic routing protocol, okay? Now, right now, what's going on in my mind? My mind is going through a process on, okay, what else, what other information do I know, right, about, uh, being a, a, this protocol, a dynamic routing protocol. You know what other information can I get? No, mm, and probably you have the answer, right? That we know that we have uh, with dynamic routing protocols, we have distance vector dynamic routing protocols, and we have link state dynamic routing protocols. So OSPF will be a link a state let me put it right. Dynamic routing protocol. Okay? So now, what else? What else? Basic. And again, right, my mind is going through so much information. And the way that I'm walking you through, by the way, this is exactly what you need to do every time that you learn something new. You go through this process in a way that's going to make sense to you. Okay? That way you don't have to go back to information again and again. If you are able to remember this, you know, three months from today, six months from today, you know, when that time that you need to know this, uh, for you to recall this information, okay? I mean, you really have no fucking idea that if you follow my process, how badass you will be, not just in your IT career, but on anything that you want to learn, okay? So, again, going back here, OSPF, OSPF, no, that's advanced, nope. OSPF, it's an open uh, routing protocol, an open a standard, okay? So let's do open a standard routing protocol, okay? And for me, right, or probably for you, like, okay, that's more than enough, you know? No, that's not just more than enough about an open standard, and probably you get that idea, but no, let's make it more clear, you know? And some of these bullet points, we have to make it more clear. We, know, we need to find something that already, okay? Listen up, that already makes sense to us, okay? Uh, and how can we connect it? In this case, for me, right? Like open a standard routing protocol, something that will make sense to me, for me to get it, right? will be something like, well, any, and let me put it this way, okay? That will be any a vendor, or let's say router device will support OSPF, okay? Let's do that. So any vendor router device will support OSPF, or any vendor um, router device will support or can use OSPF, right? So it's really up to you, will support OSPF or can be, uh, or can be used, 
right? That means that it's not just Cisco, right? So other vendor with their own routers can support and use this protocol. This is why it's an open standard routing protocol, okay? Now, what else? What else? Oh, you know, by the way, let's do that too, okay? This is more complex, okay? What that means is, I mean, like, and this can be more than enough. You probably get it, like, yeah, more complex, that means more difficult. Okay, good enough. Let's go to the next point. No, again, let's go through the same process. You know, what else can you add? Probably you go through my bullet points and be like, okay, Jorge, I see it, I get it, but let me put it my own way. And a way that's going to make a lot more sense to me, right? So we can go through, you can go through that process so you can use mine. Remember, this is what makes sense to me based on what I, uh, research that I went through, based on a lot of videos from different trainers. You know, I see their point of views and now I absorb all this information and I make it my own. Something is going to make sense to me because I want to make sure that I'm able to remember this, you know, not just right now, but a few months from today. Okay, so more complex. That means is we can do this, right? More complex, uh, difficult to configure or implement. And I hope that I'm spelling that right. And as you know, right, and this is something that I learned too, okay, on the, pro on the process of learning. Okay, not just use one word, use two words. And this is why you probably noticed that I use a lot of this like bracket, okay? So here, more complex, that means it's more difficult to configure or implement. For me, it will be fine, it's just more complex to configure. Now, but remember, I need to connect it with more things, right? So it's more complex, difficult to configure, implement, okay? So what else, let me think. No, that's for the next video. No, that we can use that for another video. That's to advance. Uh, let's see. Thinking, I'm thinking. OSPF. We have um, two versions of OSPF, okay? One for IP version 4, 32 bit IP address, and we have another one for IP version 6, you know, that 128 bit IP address. So that's something that we can add, and it's something basic, right? OSPF version 2 for IP version 4. And OSPF version 3 for IP version 6. Okay? Now, based on this, now that, I, that uh, we're talking about IPs, as you know, this is a protocol, OSPF, a routing, dynamic routing protocol. You're probably thinking, okay, that means that this protocol use maybe UDP or maybe TCP, right? I mean, all protocols use either TCP or UDP. And some protocols, you know, like DNS, it uses both, right? DNS, I mean, uh, uses TCP and UDP depending uh, and well, depending on how to use the protocol, okay? But going back here, okay? OSPF, do not, okay? Do not. So let's, let, let's add that, right? So OSPF, do not use, no, don't. Let's do it, don't, ah, don't use either TCP or UDP, UDP. I know you're probably thinking like, okay, so how does that really work? Well, and that, that will be my last point, okay, based on this, okay, that OSPF relies on the IP protocol, protocol two, carry routing information, bam, okay? So OSP relies on, I, on the IP protocol to carry routing information. 
IP protocol again, right? That can be IP version 4 or that can be IP version 6. And right now, right, everything has to come to you because at this point, you obviously know the OSI model, right? So that will be the layer 3 of the OSI model where this happens. And again, the way that I'm walking you through is because you need to make sense of this information in a way that you can connect it with something that you already know. That's how it's going to make sense to you, okay? So this is good. This is good enough, okay? Just the basics. And, you know, it's a lot of more that we have to go through, okay? And on the next video, this is exactly what I'm going to do, okay? We're going to jump back to our lab and start building, okay, our OSPF lab, our OSPF network. And by the way, okay, we're going to make it with about, let's see, between 15 to 18 routers. Let's make it like a badass network for you to really learn and get the concept, okay? But this is so far, and probably this is for you to be, okay, before me going to the next fucking video, let me do this. Let me go through this information. Let me make it my own. Let me go through it like the way that Jorge is telling me to go through it, okay? So that I can get it, so I can start connecting this that probably a lot of it, it's new to me with something that already makes sense to me. Okay, remember, first week, right? The process that I walk you through, the process of learning how to learn, okay? So don't jump to the next video. Make sure you go through this process the way that you're supposed to, okay? And then go to the next video so we can jump back to our lab so we can start building this OSPF lab network. And then we're gonna go back and go through more, um, points about OSPF and then we're going to get into the details but right now you're probably forming the picture okay so I'm going to talk to you in the next video